Hey guys, it's Danielle. Um, this is my very first YouTube video, and for it, I decided I would go through all my favorite products from 2017. Um, not all of them are from 2017, but they're still my favorites this past year. So um, let's just jump right into it. We'll start with my favorite foundation. Currently, I've been using the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is my all-time favorite. It's so easy to use. You just draw stripes all over your face, blend it out, put some powder on it, and you are good to go. The next foundation that I just recently started using is Drugstore, and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It, um, I actually just went out and bought some more of this today, but it's got this little applicator stick, which I thought was really cool. Um, you know, most of the times you see them in pumps or you have to pour it out, but the little applicator is pretty nice. Um, next is concealers. My two favorite, favorite, favorite is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this. I'm actually almost out, so I'm going to have to get more of it. Um, if you're looking for a good concealer that won't break your bank, this is it. It's so good. Next is, of course, the Tarte Shape Tape. Every YouTuber in the world loves this. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. It's, it's amazing. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll talk about my favorite lip products. I don't have that many of them. Um, my favorite lip products for 2017, this one, it's a Seal ColourPop. It's um, in the shade Magic Wand is the name of it. It's their, one of their ultra satin lips, and it is amazing. It stays on pretty well. It doesn't move around. I love it. The next thing that I like is from Glamour Dolls. It's a lip balm, a tinted lip balm, and it is called Meowter Space and Kitty Kisses. It's so pretty. It feels so good on your skin. That's what it looks like. It's just a little tinted lip balm. So if your lips are chapped, girl, where it's at and it was only one dollar on their site you can't beat that one dollar next lip product that I absolutely love is the Smashbox lipsticks that they came out with um, this is in the color legendary it's a vibrant red color That's what it looks like very pretty red. It's festive for holidays or date nights or just, you know, if you're feeling bold and you want a red lip. Um, next, I'm going to talk about my setting sprays. Um, this one is an oldie but a goodie. MAC Fix Plus. I love it. It hydrates your skin. You can use it for your face. You can use it for glittery eyeshadows. And it's just, you know, it's good. And most of you probably already use that. The next one that I have is the Maybelline Master Fix. Um, it's very affordable. You can find it at Walmart, CVS, any of your local drugstores. It's very good. Um, excuse me. Hey, I'm having a bad hair day, guys. Um, next, I'm going to talk about this little buddy right here. This poor professional. It's not new. It's older, um, but it's my holy grail. I use it all the time. I have not found any other primers that I actually really, really, really like. Um, so if there's some primers out there that y'all like, um, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know. I'll try them out, test them out, whatever. Um, yeah. Next, we're going to talk about highlighters. My all-time favorite is the Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics that Jaclyn Hill created with her. I actually have it. I don't know if you can tell because the lighting in here is kind of bad, but I actually have it on my face right now. It's my favorite. And then I recently purchased this highlighter right here by Wet n Wild. It's also very pretty. Um, let's see if I can swatch it for you. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's kind of a subtleish high highlighty shade. But it's very pretty. Kind of gives you a little sun kiss glow. Um, next, let's talk about brushes. 
Um, I don't really have many new brushes in my set. I recently bought the Lisa Frank brush from, um, who was it that they did it with? Glamour Dolls. Um, they have two brushes, this one, and then they have an eyeshadow brush, and I just, you know, it's Lisa Frank. Who didn't love this stuff growing up, you know? I loved it. It's so pretty. And then I have these bad boys. It's a little six-piece set my husband actually got me <clears throat> for Christmas from Walmart. He's been trying to get involved with my makeup habits. Um, I've used the biggest one the best. It works really good to buff in your foundation, blend everything out, and it doesn't leave any lines or streaks like that. But um, if you're looking for a dupe for the Artiche brush, this um, this little buddy right here, the whole set was like 15 bucks at Walmart. It was a holiday thing, so I don't know if it's still in stores now, but it, I mean, it works very well. Okay, now the fun part of the video, all of my favorite eye products. Um, I'll start with the palettes. The Jaclyn Hill Palette in Morphe. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Uh, this, you guys, I use this all the time. It is my favorite eyeshadow palette. It's really dirty. I use it constantly. It is my go-to palette. Anytime I'm going anywhere, if I'm going to go out of town or anything, this is what will come with me all the time. <clears throat> the next eyeshadow palette is the new Morphe 39A. I just love it. Look at the packaging. That packaging is gorgeous. Um, I've only played with this a few times so far. I've played a lot with the blues over here. Um, I really wanted to play with these over here because these are just, I mean, they're so pretty. Um, this is such a good palette, you guys. It's worth the money and it is limited. <laughs> That's my dog. You having fun? Anyways, we'll just ignore her. Um, it is worth the money. It's limited edition, so they will not be selling it after the holidays are completely over. So jump on it while you can. These colors are just, they're vibrant and beautiful and pretty. See, let's do some swatches real quick. Just a few of them. Let's do this little guy. Blue. I mean. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look how pretty. So pretty. So many colors. So many things to play with. Um, it is worth the money that it is. Um, you can make so many looks with that palette. Moving on. This. Oh, I've used this almost every single day since I've got it. It's so pretty. The packaging is awesome. You open it up and it smells like hot chocolate to me. I just love it. It's so nice. So pretty. It's worth the money. It is expensive, I'm not going to lie. But I was spoiled on my birthday. My husband bought it for me. It is worth it. Um, there's so many pretty colors in here. The silvery color is one of my favorites. Um, so many, guys. It's worth it. Alright, moving on. The next palette that I've got that I've used quite a bit now is the Kathleen Light ColourPop Dream Street Palette. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. It's very pretty. Um, this is the inside of it. Very, very pretty. Very many looks you could come up with that. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in the blue shade. I've used some of these shades over here. I created some of this coppery kind of eyeshadow the other day, um, which I'm thinking of doing a tutorial on. Hopefully I'll have my camera back. Um, speaking of, I know the quality sucks, guys. I'm so sorry. I know there's no backdrop. Um, back when I was originally going to start this channel, um, I had 
a whole section where I was going to do it in my house. I had my camera. I had this and that. And then Hurricane Harvey happened. So um, we lost a bunch of stuff trying to, you know, get, get, get back in the flow, get my stuff back together. But, um, you know, hopefully I'll get a better camera. I'll get my microphone. I'll get all that stuff. And the videos will progress from there. So um, stick with me. Hopefully it'll get better. Um, the last eyeshadow palette that I just got and I haven't got to play with, I swatched it and and all that, but I'm going to put it in my favorite videos anyways because it's just too pretty not to, is the Just Peachy Matte from Too Faced. Look at that. That's, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. This is what the inside looks like. It's very peachy, cool browns and stuff you could I mean there's tons of different looks you could do with this it's gorgeous it smells just like peaches and cream I love it every time I open it up I'm just like oh, I need peaches it's so good guys it's so good um I can't wait to do looks with this I can't wait to film with this um if that was something you guys would want to see let me know I know tons of other youtubers have already done it but you never know there could be a look that y'all haven't seen yet and y'all might want to Moving on to the single eyeshadows, I love these ColourPop Super Shock shadows. They're so pretty. I don't know if you can see. This is like a pinkishy color. It's called Revolution. I've used the crap out of this. I'm probably going to have to repurchase it in the future. Um, but these shadows are so pretty. They're pigmented, they're nice, they're easy to move around and blend. I love them. Um, if you are not a ColourPop fan or haven't got on the bandwagon yet, girl, get on it. It's worth the money. It's not pricey. It's very good quality makeup. They have sales on their websites all the time. It's, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Take a look. See, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll find something you like. And these next products are ColourPop as well. Lots of color pop, I know. Ignore my dog. They are the Super Shock, not Super Shock, Super Nova Shadows. They are so pretty. They, um, I mean, they just make any eye look glittery and pop. This is in the color Moonlit. This one is hard to impress. This one is one of the newer ones they came out with called Mothership. And let me tell you, this is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Let me just, let me show you real quick. Isn't that just so, I mean, it's so metallic -y and pretty. It's just. I wore this um, to one of my Christmas events that I went to this year, and I got so many compliments. It was uh, so it, so pretty. I love it. And then the last one is in Firecracker. It looks like this. This one is also one of my favorites. It's like a pinky reddish kind of color. It's also very pretty. Let me show you a swatch of that one. It actually looks a little more ish but I love it. Very, very pretty, very stunning. It looks good. Um, it's really not that hard to apply. You can do it with the applicator. You can put them on a brush. Um, some of it will tend to flake off just a little bit if you're not careful, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all, guys. Um, and that is all for my favorite videos, for my first video. I promise as soon as I can get organized from having to move and everything because of the hurricane, quality, backdrops, everything will be so much better. You will not have to deal with my dog's head in the background. I forgot that she was in here and she just jumped up on my bed. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed my favorites video. If there's any kind of tutorials you want to see with any of the palettes I showed or any other products, please let me know. I will get on that. Um, until next time, guys, though, see you later. Mwah.